Hello, viewers of Consistor Who Reviews. And today I'm reviewing Kim Possible, Sick Day, and Truth Hurts. And in Sick Day, uh, Kim Possible has a cold from Jim or Tim. And she's asked by these uh, scientists to guard her super secret uh, project, which is called a uh, Laser X, and yeah, they won't tell anybody uh, what the laser actually does. And Kim does like uh, keep an eye on the laser while she's sick, and Dragon and Seagull almost get uh, the laser past her because he keeps uh, sneezing, and Seagull points out that everybody knows that you gotta keep your eyes open when you sneeze, so that the time it right. Uh, but Kim able to see them uh, thin the laser and uh, fight Shigo. But the uh, uh, Kim actually sneezes on Shigo by mistake, and her and Draken get a uh, laser X. So the next day, uh, Shigo's calling in sick, and Draken has to call in a. Uh, Duff Killigan to do, to do the plan with him so that he might need uh, help. Luckily, Ron actually takes uh, Laser X away from Draken after uh, doing his uh, plan where he had a lot of suction cups on his suit to climb uh, Draken's mountain lair. And Draken and killed him not repaying his head and says, let's iron out a deal of uh, who gets. What and how much? Mm. And apparently, Seal lives in Dragon's Lair. Even though it's also probably, probably uh, led somewhere else since you have to call in sick. So, hmm. And yeah, even though Braun says that he is that all his body's a fortress of a German tube or anti German tube, whatever, he gets sick thanks to Shigo. And as he had Dragon. Also gets a cold and don't kill us to hire this a, a temp who does act acting like this is like a normal job and being too happy. And killing him as he steals the thing and he gets sick and yeah, I was just surprised that a lot of some of the characters wasn't the same as soap opera, but hmm. And after the dead uh, Jim, Tim and Rufus get the uh, laser X back, but the temp actually traps them, and even though she's a little bit better, Kim actually goes up to save her brother and, and Rufus, and gets to fight with Shigo, and yes, they uh, stop uh, the bad guys from using laser, but Jim and Tim actually uh, uh, drop a chandelier on the, the laser when they think they're gonna do it on the temp. Uh, yeah, like I'll spoil uh, what the laser actually does, but yeah, it's a little ironic. I mean, I think it's a good uh, episode. Uh, just, I think the actors do a good job pretending to have a cold, that they are pretending. I'm Ron or Sam Kim when he's trying to tell the dragon. Is that seeing the laser and he takes a dragon or or dragon or whatever? Yeah, I don't know. And uh, yeah, it looks good seeing a uh, Duff and a uh, uh, Duff killing him and dragon working together. Again, I'm a dragon looking through uh, some uh, uh, photo files of some villains. They actually shows uh, some other ones, including the uh, DM Amy, and he never wants to work with her again, even though he. Or he kind of fell for when uh, they uh, worked together. So, mm. and uh, it was uh, very entertaining. Now for uh, Truth Hurts, Kim is, is got, uh, Kim and Ron to Dragon's uh, Ice Slayer, where he captured this uh, doctor named Doctor Wong, and he's. Plan of you in the troop ray 
that he vented on her to, to t have, have her tell him all her scientific secrets. The turn came to find that she got the accident to use it on her and Rob, but came to realize what's going on until he's uh, doing this interview for uh, this uh, charity magazine called Cheer Weekly. And yes, he brought out uh, some stuff that makes the interviewer think maybe they, they uh, some do uh, uh, SOA or whatever you do with journalism on uh, on cam. And Kim just said, dreading the uh, time of truth, especially when uh, it turned out uh, her dad's having some of the uh, bosses at work over for dinner. And um, Ron is yeah, just getting popular, especially when uh, he was banned out this book that a bargain one wanted to do in class. Yeah. That's funny. And Kim is trying her best to uh, not uh, blab out what her dad said about. Uh, his uh, bosses, but it doesn't work, and it looked like uh, his Kim was responsible for getting that for getting that fired. But it turns out the head of the board of uh, Kim's dad's uh, scientific department, whoever, is wrong, and she actually does that. Uh, really, that is a truth ray, since the other three guys didn't believe that there's a truth ray. Um, yeah, thanks to Kim as sa saving uh, uh, his boss, she decided to give uh, her dad a promotion. Uh, luckily, we were able to find out that the true A only lasts for a day, and Kim's happy that war up. Ron isn't, especially uh, when he's trying to talk to the girl, he probably likes to call that Penny. And get us brought out something that. Make, make sure not like him. Hmm. Uh, I think uh, True Hurt Hurts is uh, a bit, it, it's good, but I think today is just a little better than just uh, keep the guess on what's gonna happen. But I do think uh, both are well, well written and does the stuff that Kim blurts out is pretty good cool. when she when tells that uh, way that she thinks uh, him staying in his room for as long as he has is bit strange or not normal. Ugh, I don't know. Out of stuff she brought out about her dad's uh, bosses after uh, uh, hearing what he thinks of them, it does go as well. <laughs> uh, I think uh, whoever wrote this has good sense of humor. Mm. And, uh, yeah, the setting of the two episodes there. Very good. And uh, next week we're going to the two episodes where uh, Ramis places one of uh, Kim's books. And the one with the giant ro uh, cockroaches. Yeah, probably in interesting, but anyway, see. And uh, that's it. That's later.